We are in Wunda Marina in Fiji, and Felice is on the hard in a cyclone pit. Yorgos checks the weather forecast. A tropical low is forming east of Papua New Guinea, and it may become a cyclone. On April 1st, the storm is named Tropical Cyclone Harold. Two days later, as Harold batters the Solomon Islands, many lives are lost at sea. Harold slows down west of Vanuatu, where it intensifies to severe Category 5 cyclone. Next, it makes landfall on the islands, devastating everything. The cyclone is slowly crossing the 500 nautical miles from Vanuatu to our island. In the marina, the preparations are feverish. All yachts in the water are turned stern to, with a safe 3 meters distance from the basin wall. All anchors are removed, and the anchor chains are tied on a huge underwater mooring in the center. In Felizi, we're preparing for the worst, removing everything from deck and securing all that stay. We even drop the anchor for the case of a storm tide. The cyclone's timing is bad. Tonight, the moon is full. On high tide, the water will rise to the extreme 2.2 meters, and the cyclone surge will make things even worse. Spending the night in Felizi will be uncomfortable and potentially dangerous, so we take a room in the hotel next door. The wind is howling through the night. Torrential rain falls like a curtain in the dark. The power is out. Tree branches and coconuts drop like bombs on the roof. We're terribly worried about Felizi. We sleep a marine sleep even though we're on land. We check the Fiji Meteorological Service and the meteo apps every one two hours. The prediction shows the eye of the cyclone passing 80 miles to the west of our island. But what if it changes track and comes closer? We have to stay positive and relax. By 4.30 a.m. we are up. The wind gets stronger, blowing the trees to a frantic dance. In about four hours, by 11 a.m., the eye of Cyclone Harold will pass about 80 miles southwest from us. Fortunately, the high tide starts to get low. The power is out, the internet is down, but the worst seems to be behind us. We leave the hotel and walk to the marina, keeping a safe distance from trees, falling branches and coconuts. In Bunda Marina, all boats are okay, except for some minor damages. Thankfully, Felizzi is fine, waiting for us to get her back in shape again. Cyclone Harold may be away from us now, but it continues towards Kandavu and Lao Islands, drawing a path of destruction through the Pacific. Our hearts go to everyone affected by the cyclone. May they all be safe.